Welcome back to another episode of This Just In with Justin. That's me. On today's episode, we're going to go over the difference between some common technologies of RGB lights that a lot of people ask questions about. So, what do we have? First of all, we have some Wi-Fi dream colors. Those are known as RGB ICs. We have some RGB WWs. And we have your good old run-of-the-mill standard RGBs. Enough with the basket, let's talk about the tech. The ICs. Gonna be a bit controversial here and say, these are my favorite. There are limitations to them, but let's see what we've got inside the box. So we'll notice that they're covered with a protective coating and that allows them to have the IC chip in them protected a little bit better than everything else. They've got the standard 3M tape backing on them so you can stick them to things. And Govi, if I could make one suggestion, I'm probably going to repeat this a lot, get rid of the 90 degree wall warp. Check this out. Here's my power strip. Here's my plug. Oh, just wasted three plugs just by plugging it in. Man, do it sideways and it'll be a lot better. But at any rate, let's hook these guys up to the app and see what happens. The first thing you'll notice when we open the app is that we can individually select what Govi calls segmented lights. Those are the individual controls for every single light that is controlled by the IC or the independent controller chip. Let's go ahead and select a few of these and see what all we can do. You'll notice we can change colors and do all kinds of other interesting things to the lights. My favorite thing to do though is go to the scene and choose the stacking emotion that is already created by GoV. This one does some pretty cool things. All right, well, that's the ICs. Now let's take a look at the WWs. What do we got inside here? First thing you'll notice, the box looks a little smaller, but if we look at it, this guy's got five meters, 16.4 feet. This guy's got three meters, 9.8 feet. So, okay, I guess it is a little smaller, but what's inside? Hmm. First thing you'll notice, they're wrapped backwards. Don't know why, maybe it's the way they're produced. They've actually got a protective coating over the top of them as well. But if we unroll them a little bit, oh yeah, we can cut these guys. And they're called WW because they actually have the entire white spectrum. So you can call them warm whites if you want, but they allow you to go from the very low spectrum of the white all the way to the very high spectrum or somewhere in the 2000s to somewhere in the 5000s. Again, these guys will allow you to cut them. Oh yeah, guess what? The newer model, boom, comes with a remote controller, which allows us to do some pretty cool things if we don't have the app. But Kobe's home run is the fact that you can control most of these guys with the app. And in fact, all three of these that I'm looking at right now, Wi-Fi capable allowing me to control them with the app or the API. So whatever you want to do. At any rate, let's take a look and see what these guys look like inside the app. Once we're in the app, you can see the biggest difference is the fact that we can run this slider from warm white all the way to cold white and back and actually feel the white difference because there are two different individual LED strips controlling the white lights on this strip. Warm white is that 2000 degree Kelvin temperature, which is commonly known as like a yellowish light bulb, and cold white is that one in the 5000s, which is like a really white white. Again, you can scroll between the two of these and get a real feel for the variance in the white color in this LED strip compared to others. Similar to all of the other GoV LED strips as well, we have the ability to synchronize these to music or change the different scenes as well as use the different color selectors that most people are commonly familiar with. Those are the WWs. We looked at the ICs. Now let's look at the old standard RGB strip lights. Open these babies up, see what we got inside. Yeah, they're pretty compacted and they're just sort of run-of-the-mill standard, well, LED strip lights. You can put them just about anywhere you want. Good news is you can cut these guys every so often. <laughs> New version comes with a remote control too. Not too bad. Comes with an alcohol prep, some things to secure them with, and of course the standard controller here that contains the Wi-Fi chip and everything else in it. Oh yeah, there's that bad wall ward again. 
I'd like to show you what all three of these look like, but I can only plug one in at a time. Sorry. Nonetheless, let's transition over to the app and see what we've got with these guys and what we can do. If we take a look at the app with our standard run-of-the-mill RGB lights, it looks pretty much the same as the others, with the exception that the IC allowed us to choose individual LED components, and this one doesn't. Again, we can see we can also change the difference between warm white and cold white here. However, the LED lights don't have the individual white light chips like the WW does. We can sync it to music, we can change the scenes, and we can do some basic brightness and create DIYs with them. They suffice for most basic applications, but again are very limited in the fact that they are just standard RGB lights and don't have any protective coverings on them. Now, do remember, they are Wi-Fi enabled, so we can control them with Alexa or Google Home if we want to choose to integrate them with our smart home. So as you can see, we've got three different types of LED strip lights that are most commonly found indoors. You've got the ICs, you got the WWs, and you got the good old fashioned run of the mill, just RGBs. The ICs, like I said, have an independent controller in them and allow each light to be changed individually, allowing them to do some cool things like we saw in the app, including chasing, set up some different scene colors, and create DIYs that are all the magic extraordinaire. The WWs, I've got a set of those in my bathroom actually, and they allow me to have those warm whites in the morning and the really high whites that pop in the afternoon when I finally woke up after having my coffee. These guys here, the standard run-of-the-mill RGB, you can put them anywhere else that you really don't want expensive lights or anything too fancy. You can cut them, you can do whatever you want with them, and they're pretty cheap. As is with standard with Govee, they've given us lots of different options, and for every different solution, you're going to need a different option. Like I said, my favorite, I'd have to say, are the ICs, but you're going to have to make sure that you can put the entire strip wherever you're going. But it does make for some pretty cool DIYs. The WWs, they've got their place as well. Remember, they're a little bit shorter. And then you got these guys. You can cut them up, do whatever you want with them, and they're pretty cheap, so you can put them just about anywhere. That's it for this episode of This Just In by Justin. I hope you found some interesting information and can differentiate now between the differences between your ICs, your WWs, and your standard run-of-the-mill RGBs. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, look forward to the next video we make.